know Pastor Ed P, then you know I love to praise God. The Bible says, let everything that have breath praise you the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, let's sing this song. Today is a special day. It marks the moment in time when you have not just a choice, but you have a decision to make. And this very decision that you have to make can affect your beginning and your end. Time and destiny have two different, two different meanings. Time keeps on moving with or without you. Destiny is waiting for you. And no matter how much time you take, your purpose, your goal should be to reach your destiny. Now, I don't know how much time we have left. I know the signs of the time are here and they are now. But I do not know when the Son of Man is going to crack the sky and those who are in him We'll meet him in the air. I don't know when that's going to occur, but I tell you this. I'm not going to waste time trying to reach my destiny. Don't you waste time trying to, to reach your destiny. Make, take advantage of every opportunity. Every, every circumstance, every situation that arises. Look at it in a way that this is one step towards your goal, one step towards your destiny. Don't let nothing hinder you. There will be things on your right, things on your left, things behind you, even things in front of you. But I encourage you today, don't throw in the towel, don't give up, don't quit. Keep moving, keep pressing forward. Press, press, press. Give God a yes. Uh, yes will change your condition. Yes will change your position. This is just the beginning. Things got a little tougher for you in the past week, but it's not over. Things can get a little rougher for you in the next week, but it's not over. It ain't over till God says it's over. And when he says it's over, there's only th two words I want to hear. Well done. Well done. That right there will be my finale. When I hear those words that come from God's mouth telling me that what I've done in this life, well done. When I hear them words, I will be satisfied. Till then, I cannot be content. I can't be stagnant. I can't stand still. I got to keep moving. You can't hinder me. You can't get in my way. You can try, but it won't work. This is the attitude you got to have towards the adversary. Nothing that he tries to do to hinder you should work. Why? Because you have Christ on the inside. Why? Because Christ is on your side. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Uh, I don't know who, who's listening to me right now, but I'm telling you right now, if you take these words, take these words, let them go to work for you. Take the word of God, let it go to work for you. You know, our bankers and, and investors, they, they try, to, try to tell you, uh, uh, to educate you that when you have assets, let your assets make the money for you so that you don't have to work hard in, in making the asset. You know, that's what they try to tell you in the, in the, in the banking world, in the corporate world. But it's same thing, same principle in Christ. God has given us his word. He's given us his son. He's, he's even... After his son, he sent us the comforter, the Holy Spirit. These are assets to me. They are assets to you. And they are here to work for you. Everything that God has placed in his word is supposed to work for you. If it don't work, then God ain't God. And that's, that's huh? The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. There's only one God, and God is the truth. He's the way. He is the life. 
and he's here to work for you. Now, what are you going to do? You can, you can complain, and if you do that, you're going to remain. Or you can give God a yes, a yes to your will, a yes to your way. Huh. Not my will, but your will be done, Lord. And watch your situation literally turn around. Shando, shando. Watch your, your situation, your circumstances flip upside down. All because you gave God a yes. I don't know who I'm talking to, but take these words and let it go to work for you. I love Bishop MP. Listen, if you know Pastor MP, then you know I love to praise God. The Bible says, let everything that have breath praise you the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, let's sing this.